Alpha 1, runway center, uniform, to ground. Gonna be logged, harness secure. Um, I'll go back to, before we do the departure procedure, I'll go back to the run-up. Still waiting for the oil temperature. Remind me, do we just wait? Do we have more power? Like, uh... No, we just have to wait. Okay. Is it normal to have to wait a while for that? Well, it's cool, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're departing on one one left, which means that when we climb, we climb the 500 feet, then we do a climbing turn. 90 degrees. Is it downwind departure, right? Correct. Yep. And then we turn again when we're at 1,000 feet onto downwind, climbing turn, we don't level off at all, and we climb up to 1,500. Sorry, the first turn is at how many feet? 500. 500. The second turn's at 1,000. Yep. And then we climb up to 1,500 on downwind, and we level off. And then we track to the west. Okay. Um, the, the turns are to the left. Right. Yep. The wind sock is actually pointing towards the west. Which means they ought to switch the runway if it continues? Yeah, we've got a bit of tailwind component. I think that the, the cloud will, the, the wind will change and push all this cloud back onto to the coast. Coming about one or two knots at the moment. Is a tailwind takeoff uh, difficult, difference in any way? No, uh, it just meant you use more runway. Okay. Say again. If for every knot of tailwind, it's about 15% more runway. That's right, you told me that. So you said that's one to two knots?
Future form of Evan Bromeo, Bankstown Tower, Con 1000, initially runway left, clip for takeoff. Con 1000, and runway left, clip for takeoff, future form of Evan Bromeo.
Tucson. That's a railway line there, hey. Yep. Alright, so clear right, clear centre. We've got an aircraft in front of us at about a mile and a half. And clear left. Okay, let's turn left now, so we're going out that way, okay. Speak to Juliet Alpha, grid at Bravo 211 right for circuit and request one zero second delay. I'm losing altitude, eh? Juliet Alpha, bank center. Okay, you can stop your turn. Let's climb. Okay. Thanks, downtown. Bravo, Victor, Mike, ready, runway 11 left, downward departure. Bravo, Victor Mike, Banks Sound Tower. Depart downwind, not above 1,500, remain in uh, BMC. Runway left, cleared for takeoff. Depart downwind, not above 1,500, remain in BMC. Bravo, Victor Mike. Victor Mike, runway left, cleared for takeoff. Well, level off at 2,000. Okay. Cleared takeoff, runway left. Bravo, Victor Mike. Mike, Charlie, Romeo, downwind, touch and go. Mike, Charlie, Romeo, runway right, cleared touch and go. Here is like, is this level of cloud okay for a visual? Oh, yeah. Okay. Pretty high. 
high, but uh, 9 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we're at 3,000. That's your cross from yesterday, isn't it? This one? Uh, yeah, it seems to be about right, too. See another one at 12 o'clock, or is that's pretty far off. How, how far would you say that is? Uh, probably about four miles. Cafe one one zero, Parish Connect. Maple Bow. Sorry, Maple Bow. We're not at cruise speed yet. Thank you. Don't do things just for the sake of doing them. You need to. Yeah, I agree with that. Stuff. Thanks. All right, this counts as cruise, right? That's correct. Yep. feet is our datum point. So go down to 3,000 feet, sure. Killing 40 Delta, track direct double. Track direct double, killing 40 Delta. Okay, now I want you to slow down to the slow speed configuration without any flap. Alright, slow speed without any flap is uh, 1900, 1950, 2000. 2000, I'm sorry. Alright, going down to 2000. Alright, uh, right, need a lot more back stick, hey? Hold your height. No, I shouldn't expect a cross on the horizon, it was two dots above? A uh, spinner on the horizon. Spinner on the horizon, okay. Okay, now reset the power to 2,000, hold your attitude there. Alright, taking over. Alright, you can follow me through. Here we are, about 80 knots. If I want to go to the mid-drag speed, I'll reduce my power to about 1850. Yankee Delta Lima, do you copy Zero Julie Kilo? Basically, I'll wait for it to decelerate. Have it 70, right? 70. Killing 40 Delta, climb to flight level 180. Climb to flight level 180, killing 40 Delta. Okay, we're coming up to 70, so now I'll reset the power another 50 RPM because it tends to drop down. No. And I'll trim it. We are now flying at the min drag speed. This is the minimum power requirement for level flight. Okay. If you have any less power than this, you can't fly level. Okay. Now if I want to fly at 60, take my power off, about 1500, and I hold my height. When I get to 60, I'm going to have to reapply about 2,000 RPM. Is that the star warning? It is. Okay. Don't be worried. No, I'm not. I just haven't heard it before. As you can see. No one's to climb. Shouldn't be doing that. Side the drag curve, okay. theoretical point A. Yep. Slow oh, down, you mongrel. What speed? What speed are you slowing down to? 
We'll see what we can get. All right. Morning, X-ray, we have a taxi, Wilt, for parish operations, that will fuck with code. Victor Morning, Scorp 0470. 0470, Victor. <laughs> Feels very slow. The nose up, right? Well, just hold your height, don't climb, don't descend. Now I'm at 70, so... Okay, you can set the pad at 1850. And then trim it. Departures, g'day, Qantas 739er, climb to flight level 280, direct catam, request climb at 5300. Qantas 739. Raise your nose a bit higher. There you go, you're flying the mid-drag speed. Alright, not a big deal. Alright, now let's reduce the power to 1500 RPM and hold your height. Raise your nose, raise your nose. Raise your nose, raise your nose, raise your nose, raise your nose, raise your nose. Okay, hold that attitude, power to 2000. Now trim it to hold that. We're climbing, are we? Uh, negligible. But you can see, we're using more power now to fly us lower. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now in the backside of the drag curve. Yeah. This is what happens when you try to fly it, you've got to look for a drag. Yeah. Alright, we can level up now, so I'll fly full power. Full power. I need to get my sunnies after this. Alright, oh, taking over. Get your sunnies out. Thank you. One one eight decimal five. Okay. Center one one eight decimal five. Killing forty delta. Wow, not as accessible as I expected. Rex eight twenty four. Climb to flight level one six zero. Way less cloud than I thought. Better, thank you. All right, the next one we're going to do is going to be then drag in a turn. So we're going to set it up in a 30 degree bank turn, and then we're going to see which speed gives us the minimum thrust requirement, because that'll be you our min drag speed. Contact center on 133, that's one zero, good day. 
I'll level off at 4,000 and then I'll start it. This one's quite hard to do. Okay. So, I'm looking for really smooth air. Down below we have turbulence, so what I'm trying to do is get above it. And that way it makes it easier for you. Okay, Lima, Victor, identified, expect 9,000 only. Contact approach in the box, 128 to small 3. Alright, you can follow me through on this one. Clear right, centre left, we'll go to the left. So roll it to about 30 degrees of bank. Now I'll reduce my power to about 1900. Contact it should come to about 75 knots. Three, three, four, five, 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 I've got to use about 2,000 RPM. Yeah, all right. We're splitting hairs here at the moment, but 75 is your more optimal yep, for this flight condition. All right, handing over. Okay, so... We're now at the top side of the drag curve, now pull it back to 1900 RPM. Okay, and hold your height. We should get to 75. Now trim it to hold that. So reduce your power a bit more, number two, three hundred RPM less, and hold your height. Raise your nose, 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 Aircraft keep talk. raising your nose. Okay, now reset the power to 2000, do it quickly. 30 degrees of bank. That's it. Good, we're flying level now, trim it. Now you're on the back side of the drag curve in a turn. Right, about 65, uh, almost 70. Yeah. So you're going to use more power. So 75 is your most optimal because you could yep. use 1900. Yep. Alright. Aircraft at uh, 10 o'clock. Yeah, they all found the big, big hole out here. Yeah. Traffic in the Wilson area, caravan. We'll continue the turn towards the northwest. Twelve canopies from 9000 overhead, Wilson drop zone. Welcome. You can stop your turn there, and you can apply full power. Let's go back to cruise speed. Okay, so that's the drag curve. So you can see, 70 knots going straight is the minimum power requirement for level flight. It's also your minimum level flight speed in terms of power. 1850. In a turn, it's 1900 at 75 knots. Okay. And this is important for like circling for landing or things like that when you need to go slowly relative to the ground? It just means that you got to know if you're going to go slower than those optimum speeds, you're going to need more power. Okay. You so can have at 11 below us. Over. Alright, what I'm going to do now is do some 45 degree bank turns. Okay. So 45 is half up between the 30 and the 60 line. Okay. Alright, so we'll do a, a clear check. Clear right, clear centre, clear left. We we'll use full power because there's a lot of drag. So we roll the 45 degrees of bank. Neutral, and then we pull our cross up. To the horizon, and a little bit above it. And 
you can feel about 1.4G there. Sure. That's 45, alright. I think we're toppling that. Sorry? We're toppling the drive. Oh, I see. And then when we finish out there, we simply roll off. And you can see the attitude I had. And yep, we it. Yep. Regain speed and then back to 2500. No leap full bow. Handing up. Okay. 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 So now it's your turn, so clear right, clear okay, center, clear right. left. Start yeah. from left. See how you're climbing already? I am climbing, yeah. Okay, you got to be more accurate. Okay. Right, center, left. Okay, right. Roll to 45. Roll to 45. Okay. Neutral. That's it. And then across slightly above the horizon. Yep. It's about 45? Yeah, it's about 45. Let's say 24, contact center on 118.5. Decimal five. Good
your gun. Alright, handing over, so dive attitude. Wait for 120. Wait, one centimeter. One, two, three. If we go sorry. Down. Oh, sorry, yeah. Three, four. Okay, now pulling up. 120. Now, pull power. Okay. Okay. Pull the nose. And again. Okay, so dive it. So, yeah. And keep your dive constant. Okay. There we go, so hold it down like that. Okay. One centimetre, two centimetres, three, three centimetres, seven. four centimetres, pulling up. Sorry. Pull power. B412, contact centre on one. Yeah. Three. And level off. Didn't quite get the coordination there, sorry. 4335, what's the... Okay, dive attitude. Okay, one, two, three, four. Good, that's how you do it. Pull power. despite your look of bubble. Yeah, okay. So, but that's what you're going to do once you're above 120. You cannot leave full power. Yeah. And nor can you reapply. Yeah, I think it's just about pulling the stick versus, yeah. All right, let's turn back that way. Okay. I guess I'm turning while accelerating. Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. Okay. I haven't done it before, like, yeah. I, I, mean, I haven't done it two in a row before. 
we are only supposed to pause for a few seconds. Yeah, you count one, two, three. It basically allows the airplane to accelerate. Okay. But count to three. Yeah. I am not level. Oh, the gyros are wrong. Sorry. I don't know why I was looking at that. Yeah. We toppled it. Yeah. yeah. When we were doing turns, that was processing. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, when you load them up with G, they don't like. Yeah. It. I don't typically look at that at all. I don't know why I just did. Maybe just because it looks bad. <laughs> Let's see the pipeline? Yeah. And yeah, line up the pipeline. Okay. Clear direct to Richmond, climb to 5000, QNH is 1016. The hotel Oscar, direct Richmond at 5000, QNH 1016. We're going to do now to finish off on is some 45 degree descending turns. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start a cruise descent. So, right. well, you cross two dots and put the power back to 2200 RPM. That's okay. All right, so now we're going to roll the 45 degrees of bank to the right. To the right. Left, center, right. Okay, rolling. And keep your descent. 45. Yep, that's 45. That's good. Am I descending too fast? No, that's okay. Raise your nose slightly. Raise it. Yep. That's it. That's better. The right power setting? Yep, that's okay. Between 120, that's good. The crew's descent. A bit more bank angle. Stop your turn, keep it descending. Now we're going to go to the left now. Okay, clear right, clear right, clear right. left, and round we go. Hold the 45. Your nose is a bit low there, so raise up a slight amount, that's better. So I also want to feel like a bit of G in this one? Yeah. Victor, how to Oscar, I want to clear it, so you ready? Is a visual departure to the Bathurst, maintain 5000. Visual approach to Bathurst, maintain 5000. Yeah. Visual departure. You can see the ground coming. <laughs> visual departure. Alright, you can stop your turn there. Okay. Now we can climb up to 1500. Alright. Turning. So I want to just continue 
banking. All right. Keep turning to the right. Okay, stop. How about heading? Oh, this heading. Okay. Yep.
when we get to 1,000, we'll go back to cruise. Yeah. Okay. My left is to land, uniform number by hotel. Warwick Farm, uniform number by Juliet. Uniform number Juliet, runway left number two to a diamond crossing the boundary fence. Traffic sighted, uniform number by Juliet. Full power. Full power, that's coming out of a climb, not a descent, sorry. All right, let's start down to the stage B configuration with flap. All right, uh, so that's down to... I'm sorry, remind me to... Taking uh, yeah. over. <laughs> you got to hold a thousand feet whilst you're doing this. Yes. Remembering numbers, all right, 2,000. center line, right? Or are you compensating for the wind? Uh, well, we'll turn, but hold that heading for the moment because we've got a bit too far south. Okay, we can turn right now. India, sir, November, three miles. India, sir, November, on my left, number one. On my left, number one, India, sir, November. Here is also completed a route for airway between Jobbers West and Jobbers North. Which one's here? Should I be descending? What, yeah. Oh, I am. Yes, I know. Do I need to get my down? Taking over. Sorry. Don't get the flat level up to this point. What time is our descent point? See that? Well, oh, yeah, we're about here. We can see how the angle is now starting to look nice. It's not flat. Yeah. So here. Close enough. Yeah. Right. We're we'll set at the 1500, which is our approach. We put our cross to the right of the, the numbers because the wind. Yeah, we have got crosswind today. Okay. All right. Handing over. How far to the right of the numbers? About there, by what I've got. That's okay. holding us in the center. Sir, November, on my left, clear land. On my left, clear land. In the sir, November. We're on the center line now. Okay. See that? Yep. That's good. Speed's okay. Crosswind, we got it about to eight to ten knots of crosswind. So I'll have to help you with this one. Yeah. There does appear to be traffic doing an orbital. Uh, 1,000 feet. We'll, 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 we'll just use 10 degrees because okay. it's gusting up. Sounds good. Bit more power. Bit more to the right. That's it. Hey, let's flare. Out the idle, now hold it off, bit more back. Uniform over back. Foxtrot joint final, or over back. One left before it's established in three miles. Back. Joint final. Hey, taking over. Uniform over the Foxtrot. Uniform over the Foxtrot is in receipt of Foxtrot. Copy. Sure, because of the crosswind, it, it felt kind of felt like I did. All right, we didn't land evenly, right? No. That's okay. As long as we're gentle, the airplane doesn't mind it. Okay. Uh, we'll be 4,000 for the MSA, then we'll conduct the RNAP at Wollongong. Ground in use for November is on Alpha for November. Can you see November ground taxi pass? Parking, India, Syria, November. Okay. Right. 
As you can see, it's a lot easier when you're doing a long final. Yeah. It gives, it gives you time to work out. We didn't have constant drift. Up top, we had a lot of drift as we came down, it backed off. And then at the runway, it came back again. So you'll get that. It won't be consistent. Okay. But the main thing is, you aim to the right or to the left. As long as you're holding the line, it doesn't matter what your nose yeah. is. As long as I think I finally understood this time. When you say hold the line, you're not talking about aligning the nose with the line. You're just talking about a left to right position. The center line. You want the center line between your legs. Um, between your legs, but not necessarily your your legs are aligned with the center line. Like, Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So like it's like if you extend it, it's under your bum, but it doesn't matter which way you're facing. Exactly. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. We want the only extended center line. That's what I didn't understand. I thought we were talking about like it's supposed to be my legs are aligned with it. No. 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 Yeah. Okay. You put the aircraft on the center line. The aircraft can be on the center line. When you think about it, 360 degrees. What do you mean? It can be on. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like even like, it, if we're facing sideways, it's nice all the way down. Even if we're facing sideways, as long as we are moving along the center line, the extended center line. Yeah. I see. Yeah. That's what I didn't understand. I think I get it now. Yeah. It's a pretty dimensional aspect. Yeah. Because yeah, the airplane unfortunately is moving through a mass of air, which itself is moving. Yeah, right. And then we have to counteract that. Oh, Switches off, uh, avionics off. Model the 900. Uh, Magneto's check that cut. Model the 1100. Sure, I don't cut off. Out. Throttle to idle. 